everybody. Today we have Suku and we have Sonia G. So first I want to talk about Suku. These are the kits that came out for holiday, for winter. These are the two makeup kits. I want you to know that the liners and these blushes, um, they are called, they are called Suku Dewy Liquid Blushes. I have them uh, in both shades, 102 and, what shade is this? <laughs> uh, let's see. 101 are going to be in the giveaway. A, a friend of mine um, also bought the kits, but she doesn't use liquid blushes or liners. They are not um, in the kits anymore, but they will be in the giveaway. And the liners, liquid liners in these two shades will also be um, in the giveaway. So you guys will uh, be able to try them out if you win the giveaway. These are the two eyeshadows. So there's this one. Isn't that beautiful? I love Suku. I need to not buy as much Suku, Suku in 2024 because I'm just like, I need to buy a lot of less everything in 2024, but it's really hard with Suku because they always have such beautiful things. So I'm gonna use this one today. Um, this one is 131, but I'll make sure I swatch everything for you. But first, Sony G. Now I know, I know, there's a lot of, uh, discussion around Sonya G and this new release of her brushes. Um, and I won't get into that here, but I do understand that um, both times that these been, have been released, there's been some difficulty in ordering them and that we haven't seen notifications uh, from Beautylish um, and then they just sort of popped up uh, and then were sold out within like four minutes each time. I'm unboxing it here for you guys. So there's just like rice paper, really beautiful. You can see the design, how beautiful that is. Um, on the front, that's what it looks like. Really, it, it's beautifully done. And then um, there was the ribbon that was tied around it that I took off. And then you have this beautiful box um, that contains the brushes carefully apart and these are, now I think it was, is the Mackie, I, I, I wanna make sure I pronounce it right, but I'll make sure the name is down below. Now, like I said, I know these are difficult to get. I know there's some, some <laughs> difficulty in getting these. So I don't, and I, and I absolutely understand. Like I, I luck, I, it was luck that I was able to get them on the first time they were introduced or released and I just happened to get in queue at the right time and was able to order them. Um, but again, I get, you know, that it's been, uh, it's been, you know, they've been selling out pretty much immediately. So we've got four brushes. These are all, all of them are blue squirrel bristles. Um, they are brass ferrules, ferrules, the, this part here. And this is the design for each one. And that's what the handles look like. You can see, let me see if I can, yeah, I can do it this way. All right, so we have the four different brushes. We have the arched worker. This is for the dance with an arch ferrule that opens the bristles to the side, perfect for applying shadow to the entire area, uh, eye area. We have the mini builder, firmness and body across the entire length and a stable tip. I like that one. Uh, flat smudger, which is this one, firm and dense, a unique shape and thickness with a straight surface at the top for intense and even application along the lash line. And then the soft pencil, designed with movement at the top without being floppy, perfect for the lash line and inner corner. That's a really unique brush. Actually, I don't have anything like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use these today uh, as we're using the Suku, because why not? Um, on my lips, I have the Suku Fluid Glow in 105. Can't see, <laughs> 105. It's very dismal here today, guys. It's been raining and raining and raining, and so we have like no sunlight. Okay, so let's start. Um, let me show you the liners 
We've got the blue liner, which is like a grayish blue. Again, these will be in the uh, in the giveaway. And then we've got the uh, purple liner. Oh, those are gross. both great. Look at that. They look similar, actually. Purple has got more purple, but yeah, they look similar. Um, but I love both the both the shades. They have this grayish blue and a grayish purple. You can see it's a little bit more blue, a little bit more purple, but both really pretty. And then the blushes we have, these are the liquid blushes. I think this is the first time they've done a liquid blush. Uh, 102, which has more of a, I'd say like more of a peach. And then 101, which I assume is like more of the pink. Cause usually what they do is a, a cool and a warm. It's really pretty. All right, let's use a microfiber towel. The, the lip, the blushes should come right off. And yes, the liners stay right where they are. Those suckers do not come off. All right, let's swatch both of these. Let's do the purple one first so you guys can see it. If you want an eye look with it, you know what, I could just do one on each eye. Why not? I mean, I'll look weird, but who cares? Right, right. I love the uh, Suku formula, it's just always beautiful. And the shades are always like surprising because I always look at them and go, that's not gonna go together. And then it works perfectly. And I'm always like, well, all right, I was wrong. That's the first one. And again, I would look at that and be like, how is the orange? Uh, we'll just, we'll figure it out because <laughs> I'm sure it'll look good. All right, and then we have the blue one. I'm calling it the blue one. I mean, there's other shades in there, but you get the, you get the gist. These are definitely more sparkly, like over shades. Well, that one's really pretty. Those two look very similar. I wonder if they're, no, this one has a little more brown in it. I would do my entire eye with that blue, but not for the purposes of today. Okay, so let's start with the blush, um, and then we will move to the uh, eyeshadows. All right, let's use the pink first. I'm gonna use the Sheer Buffer by Sony G because it is the best, best brush for cream. And honestly, it's really good for <laughs> powder as well. Ooh, pretty. See how nice that is? I mean, I'm not surprised. Suku, I, I gotta say, guys, Suku never makes a bad product. All right, now we're gonna take the peachier shade, the browner shade, and kind of use it not as a not as a contour necessarily or a bronzer, but just you know a little bit of warmth. And let's see how that shade looks. A little on the nose. This brush makes everything look good, I will admit, but look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's start. We'll do one on each eye. Okay, so let's start. I am gonna need a, let's use, try to figure out which, oh, I'll use, um, I'll use one of the Sonia G, the classic crease brush, because there's not a crease brush in here of these four brushes. And I'm gonna start um, with the purple. I'm gonna use this orange shade as sort of the transition shade. Not that there's like a matte shade in here, but wow. Look at the, look at the intensity of that. That is a beautiful shade. I wasn't even looking at that shade as like the, a beautiful shade, but that is stunning. Suku, 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 okay. So we're gonna use this one over here. That's just beautiful. This, you know, these might be some of my favorites of, that Tsuku has done, actually. Now these are definitely more shimmery than, or luminescent, I guess, than Tsuku does sometimes, but wow. Look at that shade. 
beautiful. Don't worry, I'll clean out the outside of my eye. Um, all right, so now let's take, let's use, let's use the mini worker. And let's use that to put on like an inner inner shade. So on this eye, I'm gonna use the silver, the shade here, kind of putting it on the eye into the inner corner of the eye. And then on this side, I'm going to use this pinkish shade to do the same thing. These brushes are beautiful, by the way. They perform so well and they're really super light on the eye they feel very comfortable let's take the let's do this one last actually I'll, I'll show you what i'm gonna do with that um so let's take the inner corner and let's use this very light um purpley like lilac -y shade this is the pencil brush oh that's really nice it's just like a really detailed brush you can really get in there and this side i'm going to use the whitest shade that's in here silvery white then we're going to take on this side this deep purple shade and i'm going to use the smudger brush because i'm going to start it out like this along the lash line that's a beautiful purple purple's hard to do yeah, that's a gorgeous purple. Do the same with the blue over here. Now we're gonna add it to some other parts of the eye, but let's start like this. I love that blue. Blue and the purple are both stunning, stunning. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the, um, the mini worker and I'm gonna take that purple and I'm patting it out here. Same with the blue on this side. Oh, that looks really nice. All right, let me clean up the eye for a second. There's not a lot of fallout, but there's a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna take the, the big brush and I'm gonna take the sparkly purple shade here, the light one, and just add it to the entire eye. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the silver one here. I love the Suku formula. All right, now for the liners. Do the purple one on this eye. Purple, blue. some mascara on and we'll be right back. Okay, back with some mascara on. Yeah, I love both the looks. I have to say I like the blue a little bit more, but I think that's just because I really love blue. Um, this look I think is really pretty, but I personally, again, but I personally, and this is just personal taste, I would probably just use these three shades together, the, the icy purpley gray shades, this shade I would use differently. Um, not that it doesn't look nice, but it's it's that sunset, sunrise, you know, purpley gold kind of thing that I think is popular and I do like it, but I am more monochromatic in the looks that I do. I'm sad, I know, but that's what I like. This one, again, I, I really think is beautiful, but each shade is so beautiful. I feel like I kind of want to use them independently because they don't get to shine <laughs> because when you put them together, they, you know, they, Again, they look beautiful together, but I feel like you could use each one of these by themselves and it would just look stunning. Um, so yeah, I actually, again, these are the shiniest ones I've seen from Suku, which Suku doesn't usually do like super shiny, but I really love it. And the blue in here is so gorgeous. It kind of matches the headband. I just love it, love, love it. The blush, gorgeous blush. Um, I think this is a great blush for somebody who's looking for something light, something natural. It's kind of what I like, so perfect. I like the, the warm one and the cool one. They both look good. Um, I use the warm one, sort of like a little bit of a contour. And the liners are so much fun. Uh, they're grayish purple and a grayish blue. Great. The brushes. I love the brushes. Uh, first of all, Blue Squirrel, it's, it's just a, it's a beautiful brush. The way these are designed is gorgeous. Um, the design is beautiful. They feel great in the hand, the way that they're 
designed with sort of this bigger part here and it gets narrow it just feels nice in the hand they all worked exactly as they should um, this one's really a unique tiny pencil brush it's very 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 detailed work which i do like um, the mini builder is great uh, the smudger worked extremely well this is excellent for an all over eye look and like she said it does angle so it kind of it goes perfectly you know when you're trying to put a look on the eye just Really do love that. Um, yeah, these are beautiful brushes. I'm very glad to have that have them. And again, I'm so sorry for the folks that are trying to get them and haven't been able to get them yet. Uh, I understand that they're gonna be restocked again, but I absolutely love the way they feel, love the way they look, and they perform just beautifully. So um, yeah, I, I can't say anything other than that. They're they're definitely worth picking up if you if you can if you can buy them. Um, so all in all, love the Suku, of course, and love the Sonya G. If you have any questions about either, certainly let me know. Um, and any questions as it pertains to anything else, certainly put in the, the comments below as well. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye!